Hello, my dear students. Welcome to English 808. We are starting today in Unit 9, and we are going to take lesson number 7, which is reading. By the end of this lesson, we are going to achieve two main objectives. The first one is to identify facts versus opinion and to define antonyms as a part of speech. Let us start with a reading text. I'd like you to pay your attention and follow up with me while reading. One of the best ways to help your child to be an a student is to be around them. Surveys have shown that children with involved parents tend to get better grades, have more positive attitudes, and experience less problems in school. Now, let me ask you a general question. Do you think it is important for parents to be involved in their children's education? Why? Think about this question, write down your, ans your answers in a minute or even less, and we are going to discuss the possible answers for this question. Now, let me go back to the question. Let me see. It started with, do you think? So, I am expecting your opinion since I have asked you, what do you think? So, you should express your opinion or your point of view. One of the possible answers, yes. I think children feel safe around their family. Or, yes because I believe children could benefit from their parents' experience. Or it could be negative answer with no. In my point of view, children should depend on themselves in studying. Now, it doesn't matter whether the answer is yes or no, but what matters is the underlined expressions. Let me go back to the first one. I think which means this is personal opinion. This is what you think. It's not based on a fact or a survey or a research. I believe, again, it has the same meaning. It's not based on a fact or a, uh, a survey or any research. Last but not least, in my point of view. So you are expressing your opinion, your view, and this is how you see the matter. Now let's move to the differences between opinion and fact. We indicate opinion using the below expressions. If anybody asked you about your opinion in any topic or any matter, you would answer using those expressions. I think, I believe, in my opinion, in my point of view. Let me just clarify that with an example. For example, if someone asked you about the weather, do you like winter more than summer? You'll say, I like winter more because I believe winter makes me feel relaxed. This is what you think. This is your own opinion. Now let's move to the facts. Pay attention, my dear students. Facts are indicated using the below expressions. Research show that, it's proven that, 
studies show that. Surveys have shown. In this case, here, you are not allowed to express your opinion since there is a fact which was already studied before. For example, they have did a survey on the number of population in Bahrain and they figured out a number. You cannot argue in this number because it's based on a fact. So, if you have facts that you want to talk about, you can use those expressions. Let me go back to the reading extract that I have read previously. Pay attention to the highlighted in red. Surveys have shown that children with involved parents tend to get better grades. So, is this a personal opinion? Is this the writer opinion? This is what he thinks or is it what he feels? No. This is based on a survey, so it is a fact that we can't argue in. Let's do an exercise to emphasize this fact. Now, read the below statements. You're going to have three statements and I would like you to think whether they are facts or opinion. Pay attention to this. You're going to write F for facts and O for opinion. Number one, it may be hard to accept the bad news. Number two, surveys have shown that children like having their parents attend events. Number three, I believe that students prefer practical lessons to theoretical ones. I'll give you a minute, think about them and write either O or F. So, let's check the answers together. Number one is, oh, it's opinion. How did I know it's an opinion? Let's read the statement. It may be. The word maybe indicates that we are not sure. So, there are no facts. There is no survey. There is no research. So, it's definitely an opinion. Number two starts with surveys have shown. So, yes, there is a survey. They have done a survey which shows the fact. So it's a fact that you can't argue. Number three, I believe. The expression I believe indicates opinion. So yes, definitely this is an opinion. I hope you got them right. Now let's move to the second objective, which is a very interesting and important part of speech, which is the antonyms. Pay attention to this word, antonyms. What is an antonym? What is meant by antonym? Here we go. It is a word that means the opposite of another word. What is the meaning of opposite? It means that something is contrasting the other thing. Let's see an example. Best, worst. Pay attention to the X. This indicates the opposite. Huge, small or tiny. Easy, hard or difficult. These words are the opposite. In other words, they are antonyms. Now, let's do some tasks to make sure that you are getting the idea or the point. 
write the antonym of the below words. You're going to have a list of words. I'll give you two minutes, my dear students. Think about these words. Try to provide the antonym of these words, the opposite to these words. Heavy, spend money, dangerous, start, always, hide. Start now. Let's check the answers together. The opposite of heavy is light. Spend money is save money. Now, the antonym of dangerous is safe. Start, finish. Always, never. Hide, show. Let me do another exercise for this interesting part of speech. I want you, my dear students, to write an antonym for each underlined word below. Let's see the first one. Many people agree, pay attention to the word agree, it's underlined, that children are happy when their parents are involved in education. Don't wait until the last day of school. Negative people have different attitude towards school. Think about the words agree, last and negative. Provide their antonyms or opposites. I'll give you a minute, try to do it. Let's check the answers together. Many people disagree instead of agree that children are happy when their parents are involved in education. 
don't wait until the first day of school. The antonym of negative, of course, is positive. So, positive people have different attitude towards school. We come to the end of our lesson. I hope it added new concepts to your value and you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.